Hi, I'm Andrew Ainsworth. I am a professor here in the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences in the Department of Psychology. Today I'm doing this demo to show you a little project that my student Essence Wilson and I have been working on for a little while, which is to put together a lightboard studio. So you might be asking, what exactly is a lightboard? So what you can't see right now is that between me and the camera, there is a pane of glass that's about a quarter inch thick and it is surrounded by LED lights. And what that does is it provides us with an interesting way of sort of conveying information. So here, let's see. Let's see. CSBS Lightboard Studio. So as I'm talking to the camera, I'm able to sort of face and make eye contact with the camera, which when uh, students or viewers sort of watch the video, it actually allows you to connect with them and it also gives them a chance to see your hand gestures and facial expressions and other little pieces of information that help them to, uh, to remember and to retain information, um, as well as sort of uh, may help them to sort of understand and unpack the things that you're talking about. And the way this works is sort of simply the, as the LED lights are going around the outside of the board, the light is traveling, it's being sort of trapped inside the glass and these neon markers allow the light to sort of come out, which makes it look like the, the marker is sort of lit up. Because in a sense, it actually is. The light is actually exiting the glass through that. So uh, yay for science, All right? That's sort of the science behind how these light boards work. Now I'm gonna take a pause for a second and I'm gonna sort of back out and turn the lights on so you can see what the, what the setup looks like and really have an idea sort of how this works. Because um, one of the things that people often, you know, when they see these kinds of video setups, you're thinking, well, uh, how am I supposed to go, you know, go and teach everything and write everything sort of backwards? And the interesting thing about this is I'm not actually writing backwards. I'm actually writing in, I'm writing forwards. This is my, this is my right hand that I'm writing with here. Um, and after I record everything, um, in post, it actually gets flipped. Now, uh, that may seem like a complicated thing, but this is something that could be easily done in, in a program like Camtasia, which we all have access to, and a, a lot of you know a lot of people have been using it to do uh, screen capture. And uh, anyway, so let me let me like I said, let me pause and I'll show you sort of what the studio looks like with the lights on, and then um, we'll wrap this up. All right, so here's everything with the lights on. You can see it's built into a there's a wooden frame. I got the lights sort of uh, secured on top. There's two lights on both sides. Uh, you can see the you know the black backdrop a little bit more. You can see, get an idea of sort of how this works. You know, and, and in this particular video, I have not flipped it. So you can see that everything that, that's being written uh, looks backwards until I flip it around in, in, uh, in a program like Camtasia in post, as they say. Well, okay, so that's the light board. You sort of see in the studio. Now, uh, part of the reason why I think this is important too is to allow us to do, um, just to have better produced sort of tutorial videos for things like online labs or online classes or uh, hybrid courses. Um, for me, I plan to, to use this to make some tutorials that will help the tutoring center for the college um, to address things like common problems that student ha students have in, in stats. So um, this, this could also lead to things like, a, like changing the way in which we actually uh, teach classes. So you may have you know, heard the idea of a sort of a flipped classroom. Instead of students coming to the lecture and then going home and doing homework, they would actually watch the videos and stuff at home before they come to class, and then class time could be used to actually do activities. Actually have them doing work in class as groups or as individuals, uh, having them come up to the board and do problems, whatever you might think would help them actually apply what they're learning to actual material. Anyway, I'm going to include my, my email address down here at the bottom. and. Um, Feel free if, uh, to, if you have any questions or anything, please email me and I'd be happy to talk about this. Uh, if you want to come, come check out the studio and look at the light board, uh, again, just email me and let me know and we'll, we'll arrange time. Um, 
think that's it. Thanks. Uh, I hope uh, to see a lot of uh, a lot of use and a lot of production out of this uh, studio in the very near future. Thank you.